Fountainhead started because you know, we just um, we wanted we wanted to do more for for artists and for our local community. We are you know we're you know we're two people who work normal jobs. You know we didn't have extraordinary means. We couldn't buy work from all of the artists whose work we wanted to collect and. So we want, started thinking about how, <clears throat> excuse me, how we could do it differently, how we could give back to artists in a in a different way that went beyond just writing, you know, beyond just writing a check. And then, like I said, we were also very involved locally. And you know, this was at a time when Miami was very, you know, very different, and the muse, museums didn't have the budget that they had. We had new young galleries starting off, um, you know, that that also didn't have a lot of money. Locus Projects was still in Wynwood and the artists were staying in this, you know, in a in a in a in a in a bedroom in the back of a warehouse. And so we just came up with this idea of the residency to start bringing artists here and at the same time um, to support the museums and nonprofits and galleries by hosting artists. Because by hosting artists, one, we obviously took that cost off they didn't have to have hotel rooms by putting them in a more um nurturing and loving and home environment we felt that they would they would um they would they would have they would be able to share what was happening both good and bad while they were here they would be enticed to stay a little longer because they might be a little bit more comfortable especially in the case of uh of locust projects artists and um and so that that's we just kind of started talking about that and um and then the house across the street from us came up for sale and um you know kind of said you know if we were going to do this residency thing <laughs> that'd be a really good location for it because it's right you know it's literally right across the street and we could we could be very helpful um and so that's 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 when it started so we bought the house in late 2007 and we started the residency in march of 2008 and the first group of artists we brought this was when claire Bruckel was at the um uh, she was the director at locust projects and so they were kind of the first organization that we started um that we started working with and so their first kind of group show that they had that was curated by Felice Groden, who's a Miami-based artist and curator, um, those artists stayed with us. And, um, and that was really the, that, that was the start of Fountainhead. And, um, and then it just, it, it, it grew and evolved from then. And in, in the beginning, we hosted a lot of artists for, for the museums and galleries. And we hosted the artists for Locust Projects for six or seven years. Um, and um and then it, you know and we filled that in with artists that um that we invited and so that started in march of 2008 and then in um june so then we so that was that was that the residency gave us the opportunity to kind of support artists it helped us to kind of um uh you know bring new voices um from around the country and around the world to Miami, to our community. It helped, you know, these these other um, nonprofits and museums grow or at least take some of the costs off of them. And then, um, but we still wanted to do more for local artists. So by this point, we had many, many local artist friends and we used to have dinners all the time. And, and um, so we just gathered a bunch of people together and said, what's the, what's the biggest need in the community? And, you know, it's resounding, you know, studio space. <laughs> we all need studio space. And this is when, you know, when, when um, Art Center of South Florida had the two locations going, Bakehouse was going strong. The differences were that those artists, you know, had to be a, a bit more on view and they had, they had hours in which they were expected to work. And there wasn't, um, there wasn't just the ability to get down and dirty and close your door <laughs> and, um, and, and, and keep it closed. Right. And it, they, they, you know, they had leases and responsibilities with them and the artists said, we just need space to work and just be responsible for ourselves and our own actions. And, and so if we get opportunities like residencies and things like that, that we can, we can leave and 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 do those, or if our financial position changes, that we can 
give up our studio without having, you know, the, the, the lease, um, you know, responsibility. And so that's what started Fountainhead Studios. We went to, we went to friends of ours that had real estate um, because, you know, we were, we were, you know, we were funding Fountainhead residency. So we didn't, we didn't have any more. <laughs> so we went to our friends that had commercial real estate and said, who wants to give us a building and we'll turn it into artist studios. And, um, and, and a friend responded, Steve Rhodes responded and he had, he had this building in little Haiti and we started with a small piece of it, 9,000 square feet. And we made a deal that when, uh, when I rented the first half of the space, I would get my first air conditioning unit. <laughs> and when we rented the second half, we would get another air conditioning unit and it just, it just grew from there. Um, and that's how Fountainhead Studios started. And that's how it remains. Like we have, you know, we have artists in the studios that have been with us, not since the beginning, but darn close. I mean, we've artists that have been with us for 10 years because it's also, um, we also don't ask people to leave. Like, you know, people kind of naturally um, move or, you know, want to move spaces, want a different environment. So people do come and go, but it's not, um, there's no regular, shift to it 